What do you say if you want to get a fight in space? I'm at me, bro. What do you get if you don't win the space talent competition? A constellation prize. What's going on, guys? Mike with Iceberg Gaming here, and now that we've got the jokes out of the way, had a little fun, can we talk for a minute? Just you and me, can we talk? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about Starfield. Now, before I start, I just want to preface this by saying I'm having fun playing Starfield. When it works, it's a fun game. When it works. But it just it doesn't work that good. And you guys, even the defenders, you guys know it. I mean, it doesn't even look that good for a $70 game. Look at this. Some of the areas look good, and then you get areas like this. It's like, come on guys, we paid $70 for this game. This is a AAA developer. You can at least make it look better than this. I mean, the very first video I did for this game, the very first guide I did for this game was how to change the settings to make the game look good. That should tell you everything you need to know. And it wasn't even like, set everything to Ultra. That, that would be the easy way. Because I have a PC that should be able to handle the game on Ultra. And that brings me to my next point. I have a good PC, and this single player game lags worse than any MMO I've played in peak time. Like, seriously, what's going on here? This is a single player game. Look at this lag. And there are more loading screens than World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, an open world MMO RPG that's how many years old? 20? And it's not just on loading in and out of zones either. The game just like randomly hangs up in the middle of nowhere. It disconnects, it crashes, it freezes, the sound in in intermittently cuts in and out. It's like, what's going on guys? This, this game needs to be optimized badly. I don't get it. I don't understand how anyone with with a with even a medium grade PC can run this game at all because I have a pretty good one and I can barely run it. And who did the quality control on this? The companions voices don't match up with their lips moving. They they randomly like start talking and then the dialogue will come in. It's it's just a mess and for a $70 game, I kind of expect the main character, i.e. you, to be voiced. It's good that they voiced everything else, but come on. Let's voice the main character too. It's 2023, guys. Why is this guy talking to me while he's facing the other way? And seriously, could they not make it so that the companions don't look dead inside when you talk to them? Like, come on. Make her look like an actual person, please. I mean, we're supposed to be romancing these people, and they look like, I don't know, androids, I guess. Speaking of romance, there's not enough romance choices. It, what is it, like four? And the romances don't really do anything other than you get an extra, a little bit extra XP buff when you sleep. There should be a little more to it than that, guys. I mean, look at Baldur's Gate. I, I shouldn't get into Baldur's Gate. I have a full video comparing Starfield and Baldur's Gate up on my channel if you want if you want to hear my take on that. So we'll just leave it at that. But don't get it twisted. I am genuinely enjoying the game. When it works, I'm enjoying playing it and I'm enjoying making guides for you guys. So I will keep playing it as long as it doesn't frustrate me too much, which happens sometimes. So if you guys need any more guides for Starfield, let me know in the comments section not only your experience with the game, how you're liking it, what you think of my opinion here, but also any guides you want to see. What are you struggling with? What do you need help with? What can I make you a guide to help your experience be better? Thanks so much for watching. Sorry for the rant. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you agree, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.